everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren Kidd. I'm a business and success coach for the busy mompreneur. I teach moms how to start, run, and scale their online businesses while raising babies, while being present in their kids' lives without losing their sanity. If this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Stick around, I've got lots of good stuff for you. If you're coming back for a second look or a third or a fourth or hey, you're just here all the time, welcome back, I'm so glad you're here. But if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. New videos come out every single Monday. So we are in this crazy time right now, right? Like it's insane. So many lives have been disrupted. So many lives have been changed. So many kids are staying at home. Are you losing your mind yet? I know our days are always this busy. Um, this is my normal world. What you guys are going through right now is my pretty much regular day. <laughs> I work from home. I run my business from home. I help my my husband run his business from home. I homeschool my kid. We rarely leave the house other than to go to the park or the library or, you know, to get coffee for mommy and walk around Target. So for us, our days really haven't been that impacted. Um, that being said, I know a lot of you guys have um, felt the impact of this and some of you are already day drinking. Put down the wine. It's okay. You can do it all. Um, so I wanted to give you some tips, okay? Because a lot of you have been asking how to run a business while the kiddos are running around underfoot, right? You're just, you're just not sure. And I've got my headphones in. Like I said, it's a crazy day. The kid's not really happy. <laughs> this is a recording day. <laughs> the husband is asleep, so he's not much help. <laughs> so it happens, guys. It happens. You're a mom. You're a mompreneur. You do what you can with what you've got. Um, but we're going to talk about how not to lose your mind while doing it all, okay? So let's talk getting organized so that you can run your business while the kids are running around and you not just feel like you're just gonna Okay, right, because that's bad, that's bad. People, it's just bad, it's bad, don't do that. <laughs> Number one tip I've got for you is work together. Let them work with you. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have ventured over to my Facebook business page, links are down below, or how many of you guys and I are friends on my personal page. I share pictures of my kid all the time working with me because as my workload increases, so sometimes does the need for me to work while he's around. I typically personally don't try to work while my kid's awake or moving around. I take client discussions while he's awake. I answer client calls between nine and five, um, but I don't typically sit down at my desk and work while he's, you know, in my area, in my presence. But sometimes it's unavoidable. You just can't help it. Sometimes you really need to get a task done and I do, I'm there for my clients. If we're in a launch, if we're at a this, or if they have a question, I'm there, it happens. So sometimes you just have to sit down and work. And that's gonna be the moment they're gonna be like, mommy, 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 please, 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 please. I want, I want, I want, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Can you do this? Before you try to kill some small little human that you created, remember, one, they were expensive. Two, you love them. Three, it's not gonna be a good thing in the end. So take a step back, take a breather, and let them work with you. I have clients with kids of all ages. This works for a ton of different ages. So what does that mean? For me, <laughs> this means sometimes pulling out, um, I can't reach it, a, a keyboard that's not attached to my computer and I give him his tablet and he can just pretend like he's typing with me. Sometimes it means pulling out a special coloring book or a special um, workbook for school for him. I have special ones that I use only when I need super quiet focus time because it keeps his attention. So it's gotta be something special, something that they get when they're doing this with you. Um, this might mean um, giving them tablet time. Now for us, we very much limit his tablet time to pretty much just his school time. There's nothing on his tablet other than school stuff. So, I mean, if he wants to work more on his school stuff, he can do that for the most part. But there are times where if I need quiet time, I will download Prime or Disney Plus or something and let him watch one of our pre-approved movies. Yes, I'm that parent. Don't judge, Sally. Don't do it. Um, but it, it skips over the tantrum. It skips over this. I grab him a snack. I grab him a juice. We either sit at the bar top or he'll come sit at my desk. He'll ask for some paper or some colors and we'll work together. And what I'll do is I'll dictate. I'll pretend dictate to him notes that I need him to write down. And he feels very important. So I'm over here getting my client tasks done. Um, and he's over there working together. So for your older kids, it might mean giving them their homework to do while you're completing that task. Their home. 
They've got homeschool homework. <laughs> um, it might be letting them have tablet time. It might mean letting them watch a cartoon or a show or whatever it is. Or maybe they, they game. Um, this is a great time. A lot of my clients who have older kiddos, they limit the gaming time that they do. And if there is a specific task that needs to be done, that's when the kiddos get the gaming time. Um, so working with you. So they're doing something specifically tasked to them while you're getting your task done. That is my number one tip. It works. It really does in and out super quick. Some other things that might work um, are giving them special chores to do. Now, I don't know about your kids, but my kid loves small tasks. And I could be like, okay, go grab the trash cans from both bathrooms or go collect all the laundry from all around the house. Those are things that he enjoys to do enjoys doing or he likes loading the dishwasher and I'm like I'm loading the dishwasher but he loves to load the dishwasher so I can give him a small task and it occupies him for you know the small amount of time that I need it's not a lot I'm not sitting here telling you that you're going to get eight hours of work done by letting them work with you you're probably going to buy yourself about a half hour's worth of time and for some tasks that's really all you need so my number one tip for not losing your sanity while the kids are home is give them special tasks allow them to work with you sit with you and, you know, if they're small enough and they're interested, pretend to dictate to them and they're going to love it. They're going to eat it up. Number two, plan ahead. This is something that so many people overlook. So many people overlook. <laughs> so one of my biggest mompreneur hacks is planning. So, I mean, sure, you can write down in your planner that you're going to get 10 to 12 mom hours of dedicated work time. <laughs> you're funny. I'm going to be your friend. Um, maybe you're, maybe you're like, yeah, my spouse is home. I'm going to get like two, three hours of mommy work time. <laughs> yeah, no, if just trust me. No, it's not going to happen unless you've got like this out of town, super rad spouse. I'm here to tell you, darling, you got some great aspirations. If, if you think it's going to happen, it's not. Um, we love our spouses. I'm not bashing spouses, but let's be honest. Does it really happen? No, it doesn't. So what I'm saying is that you need to have a plan of action because you always need to have an idea of what's happening next. So this morning I knocked out a ton of work. I had to let the kiddo work with me because I have a client getting ready to go into a launch and we're, we're finishing up some things. So I had to get some tasks done. My husband is home. So my kid was working with me and I was finishing up stuff. We took a little break. We had some lunch. We went and grabbed some, grabbed, bleh, grabbed some stuff that we needed. Um, and then we came home, put him to bed. And now it's video time. It is the next thing on my list of things to do. It's planned out. So you have to plan ahead. Make a to-do list for yourself. That way you know when you sit down to do your dedicated work time, you can work from that list. So for me, what I do is before I turn off the lights every single night, I will, <laughs> I mean, don't crawl into your nice warm bed before you do this. Sit down and write out just a little, little list of tasks that you have to complete for your business. Some of those things might mean answering emails or messaging questions or engaging or promoting or, or creating that next piece of content or whatever it is and block it out. I'm not saying you're going to sit down and pick, you know, from 12 to two, I'm going to work. You know, if your kiddo naps, maybe that's fantastic. I'm not napping. I'm on borrowed time right now. <laughs> but what I know is that my next task today is to do my videos. I planned ahead. This is what I've got to do. I know that I have a little break today. If I need to, I can be like, hey, husband, I need 10 minutes. You know, it's, they're good for 10 minutes. Um, but that way, you know, when you sit down and you're not going to just get on social media and you're just not going to aimlessly scroll and you're gonna be like, I don't know what happened. I had work time and I didn't get anything done. So plan ahead. Let them work together. Plan ahead. Number three, shop online. Now, I know this is a thing that most of you are doing anyway right now, but this is a tip that's super beneficial even when we're not in lockdown or whatever it is we're, we're calling it. I'm not telling you to stay inside for the good of the community. We're not talking politics right now. What I am saying is that if you order, let's say groceries online, you are gonna save yourself so much time. Literally just had a client who is getting ready to start again in May. We've worked together for almost three years on and off. Yeah, <laughs> they, a lot of my clients come back. <laughs> I love my clients, love, love, love my clients. Um, but she finally, and I've been telling her this for a long time, she is finally ordering her groceries thanks to the situation that we're in. She's like, it saves me so much time and money. I know, 
You're not aimlessly roaming around the store. You're not there. You didn't have to load the kids up. You didn't have to get the kids dressed and then bundle them into the car and then get out of the car and then wander around the store and then pick up things that you didn't actually need and then pay and then put the kids back in the car and then drive home and then unload the groceries and then put them away and then get the kids settled. That takes a lot of time. And that's less time for you to work on your business. And I know that a lot of you are at home. I know. But when life resumes, you can still manage running a business while the kids are home. Order your groceries. You're going to take the 10 minutes you need to order them online. You're going to go ahead and pay online at the same time. Wait for them to arrive and put them away. Doesn't that sound like so much less struggle? Yes, order stuff online. Have it delivered to your house. I'm not saying you can't ever go into the out. <laughs> <laughs> to quote the movie home, yes, you can go into the out, but make sure that it's not taking place of something where you could be working, taking a time spot where you could actually be dedicating either to your kids, to their education, or to your business. Try to cut out the meaningless things that don't necessarily need to happen, like ordering your groceries. You're going to save money. I promise you, I spend probably $100 less a month just not going to the grocery store because I like to walk around when I'm hungry and it's a bad thing. Fourth tip, cut down on the repetitive tasks. This is huge. Yes, I'm telling you that you do things that you don't need to do. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. Hear me out. You are doing things throughout your day that you simply just don't need to do. Yes, I call them unnecessary tasks. I've been there, I've done that, I have done it, I've washed my dishes six times a day. Do you know how long that takes when you add it all up? When you add up how long it takes you to do dishes, you could realistically be washing dishes for about an hour and a half a day. That's a lot of time to wash dishes. So figure out what tasks that you're doing on certain days um, and what that might look like and how much time it's taking. You know, could the dishes wait until the evening? Yes, I typically like to wash mine at, at lunchtime. I will leave the breakfast dishes in there or I will bundle them into the dishwasher and if I need to, I will clean them and just put them away. I like to wash dishes. And then at dinner time, I will just do the lot, okay? So it saves me time at lunch. It saves me time in the breakfast time area. I also do not wash my laundry every day anymore. Some people don't have that option. That's my kid coming in and out of his room. He hears me. He hears me and he knows he's not allowed to be out here while I'm filming. <laughs> so that's what you guys hear. Mom life, I'm telling you. So figure out what tasks that you're doing every single day. I used to wash laundry every single day. I used to go room to room to room and pick up toys after every single time my kid would leave a room. Do you know how much time I was wasting between laundry and picking up toys? <sighs> my kid has been officially picking up his toys since he was one, okay? Since he could scoot them into a pile, he has been cleaning up his own toys. It is just a rule in our house. Before nap time and before bedtime, you pick up your toys. Mommy doesn't chase you around the house anymore. I have let go of the necessity to have every room clean all day long because it's just not a possibility and I need to be able to work. I need to be able to get things done. So set yourself a schedule. For me, this is what mine looks like. On Wednesdays and Sundays, I do laundry. On Sundays, I do a big clean. I clean top to bottom. I am a deep clean kind of person. If you know me in person, you know how clean my house is. So on Sundays, I do everything. I strip beds. I, I do curtains if I need to. I do fans. I do floors. I do everything. On Wednesday, I'll do like a quick dust and I'll do a load or two of laundry, say if my husband needs work clothes or something like that. Meal prepping. Now, I'm not talking about sitting down and making your lunches and dinners for the entire week, but those of you with kiddos home, this is going to be a massive mind blower prep their snacks for the week on Monday so that they have snacks all week long. You just have to grab them out of the fridge and then go feed them and you can get right back to whatever it was you're doing. Even if that means you're just binge watching Netflix, okay? Mom, I'm hungry. Can I have a snack? You pull it out of the fridge, you pop a top, you give it to them, bam, they're done. You can save so much time. Some of you may even suggest setting out clothes for the week. Again, saves you time. If your kiddos don't really aren't particular about what it is they wear, you can set out their clothes for the week. Here's Monday, here's Tuesday, here's Wednesday, here's Thursday, and you're not gonna have that unnecessary 20, 30 minute fuss about, I don't know what to wear, I don't know where my socks are, my pants are, blah, blah, blah. It cuts down time. When you cut down time, you've got more dedicated work hours and less sanity busters, okay? Last tip, ask for help. And I know that this is a little hard right now, especially since you can't ask your neighbor, you can't go to your parents, grandparents, and whatever. But this is something that you might need to do, whether it's asking your spouse for a little bit of help, asking older kids to help with littler kids, um, 
this could be things like, hey, will you go switch laundry? Hey, will you fold the laundry? Hey, will you make this meal so that I can get this done? Hey, will you listen to the baby monitor so that I can record a video <laughs> so that I don't have to stop um, watching kiddos, cleaning up around the house? You know, your kiddos are a lot more capable than you give them credit for. I could tell mine to go clean. There might be a little pushback because he's, you know, in that phase where he's mouthy. But, you know, it works. It does work. And it gives you, again, more time to focus some of that energy on tasks that you need to complete. And it's not going to kill the other people to give you a little lending hand. When this is all over, it might mean asking grandma and grandpa to be like, come get your kids. Take them away for a little bit. I need a sanity break. That's what it might mean. It might mean asking a spouse to do the laundry or an older, or not the laundry, the yard work or an, uh, an older kid to go do the, la the lawn, <laughs> laundry. Um, like I said, these are just a couple of ideas asking for help because you are a one woman show, but sometimes you just got to get some stuff done. So guys, the mom life biz life combo can be tricky, but you can master it. I know it's not impossible. I've got a worksheet that will actually help you find time in your day. I will drop that link below the video. Check it out. Totally free. It's not a pitch. You're not going to have to pay for it. Um, but I highly encourage you to look into your week, see what it is that you can nix out of the schedule, see where it is that you can cut, I'll say corners, if you will, that will allow you more work time, more dedicated, focused work time. So that when you sit down, you know exactly what it is that you have to get accomplished and then you're done. Less stress, less anxiety, less mess, nothing. Okay, so those are some ways that you can run your business while the kiddos are running around and not lose your sanity. Um, like I said, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe. Share this video with another busy mompreneur because you know that she is on the brink of needing wine mid-morning. Okay, see you guys next week.